everyone. Assalamualaikum. So now we are at the third LO, uh, the third subtopic, which is six point three partial fractions. So we will go. We will start with the first. No, we will start with the second LO, which means we will change the rational polynomials to proper fractions. So rational polynomial dekat sini sebenarnya adalah improper fraction. Okay, so I believe you dah pernah dengar perkataan proper dan juga improper. So, if, so rational polynomial ataupun improper sebenarnya bermaksud when the degree of the numerator is the same or more than the denominator. Maksudnya, degree of power atas numerator, atas ni kita panggil as numerator, will be bigger than or equal to the denominator. In this case, denominator. In this case, in this case, this is only more than. The degree of numerator is more than the degree of denominator. So this is what we call as improper fraction. So dah kat sini, kita sebenarnya dah boleh tulis. Ini adalah improper fraction kita. Okay, sebab soalan ni dia tanya, which of the following proper fractions and improper fraction. Which of this? Okay. So now, you have understand that atas ni adalah lebih besar daripada bawah. Jadi kita panggil dia sebagai improper fraction. How about no, soalan nombor 2? Soalan nombor 2, kita ada power 3 di atas dan power 3 juga di bawah. So, if you look at the if you look at the definition, it says here improper, degree untuk improper, the degree untuk improper mestilah kalau dia uh, numerator dia, atas ni numerator ya, bawah ni denominator. So, the numerator punya power lagi besar ataupun equal dengan denominator di bawahnya. Jadi, equal sign dekat sini masih bermaksud improper. Jadi, when they are equal degree means they are also, they are still improper fraction. See how easy it is. And then, contoh yang ketiga pula, the next example. Now we have a different kind. Kita ada dua yang di atas kecil dari yang di bawah. Di bawah ni lagi besar degree dia. And so, barulah yang ini kita panggil dia sebagai proper fraction. So, untuk menjawab soalan partial fraction, Okay, proper fraction ni sangat-sangatlah disukai. This is actually the VVIP untuk subtopik yang ketiga iaitu partial fraction. Okay, because because untuk menjawab partial fractions, kita hanya memerlukan proper fraction. So, this proper fraction must be found first. This is our number one goal. Our number one goal is to get proper fraction dulu. Kalau kita dah ada proper fraction, barulah kita boleh proceed dengan partial fraction. Okay, hafalkan nama-nama term ini. So now, let me go to the next um, example. Here is where I want to show you how is this improper. Okay, ini adalah improper, betul tak? Okay, ini adalah improper. So now... I will teach you, in this video, I will teach you how to make the improper into becoming proper fraction. In this video, I will teach you how. How do we make the improper becoming proper dulu? Sebab, as I said, dengan proper baru boleh kita proceed kepada partial fraction. Later, I will uh, explain what is partial fraction. Later, okay? So now, let's focus on how to find the proper fraction. So actually, we need the long division. So your long division is very, very important in this chapter 6. Okay, you must master the technique of using long division. So but kalau you tak master long division, you will have a very, very big problem in solving chapter 6. Okay, so you must be good at it. So now, I will teach you how. So the thing is, you have 2x to the power 4. 
and then plus and then minus 7. Minus 7 ni sebenarnya paling hujung. So, tengah-tengah ni u sepatutnya ada 0x cubed. u sepatutnya ada 0x squared. And u juga sepatutnya ada plus 0x. Actually, you should have it. Barulah you boleh letak your divisor. x cubed plus 1. Okay, this is actually how we do a proper uh, long division. Okay, a proper long division means you letak sahaja kosong, kosong, kosong ni walaupun dia tak ada. Just to put it in a very nice way. Okay, now we will start to solve it. We will have to times x with x cubed. No, 2x, 2x times x cubed going to give us 2x4 plus with... 2x plus with 2x apa benda pula ok plus with 2x and then we will get put a big bracket there minus yang ini memang akan jadi kosong yang ini akan jadi negative 2x minus 7 should you stop now how do you know that you should that you must stop? You must stop when the degree untuk remainder lebih kecil daripada divisor. So now you should stop. Okay? And then you boleh tulis jawapan you bila you dah tulis. Do you remember how do we write uh, our apa tu? Our long division. Do you remember that px must be divided by divisor? And then equals to quotient. And then plus remainder divided by divisor. Benda ni sangat penting untuk dihafal. Okay. And so your 2x to the power 4 minus 7 divided by divided by divisor kamu tadi x cubed plus 1 then equal to the quotient quotient adalah 2x and then plus with your remainder negative 2x minus 7 okay and then divided by x cubed plus 1 Ataupun you boleh tulis jawapan you dalam bentuk yang paling simplified. Bawa keluar negatif. And so you have positive inside that. So that is how simple you do long division. And you will discover that oh atas ni power 1, bawah ni power 3. And so this is what we call as proper fraction. Tada! See daripada improper Daripada improper fraction, you telah berjumpa dengan proper fraction. Daripada improper, you berjumpa dengan proper fraction apabila you cuba untuk buat long division. So, the long division is really, really needed to find the proper, proper fraction here. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, let's do the second example. The second example here is also improper. So, this is also improper fraction. So, in order to change improper into becoming proper fraction, we have to do long division. I repeat, yeah? So, I repeat using the different kind of example, we have to go through long division dulu. So, long division, kita buat cantik-cantik. I mean, kita buat kemas-kemas lah. Okay, kita ada 3x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 7 is divided by its divisor x cubed plus 5. And then 3 times x cubed adalah 3x cubed plus 15. So, plus 15 is at the back. Ikut dia punya tempat masing-masing ya. Uh, that is how pretty, that is how uh, tersusunnya jalan kerja kamu. So then, 7 minus 15 is negative 8. And so you must write your answer dalam bentuk Px 
divided by divisor is equals to quotient plus remainder divided by divisor. This is where you have already hafal dah sepatutnya. In this video, you must already hafal already. Okay, you must already know this formula already. And so you can write down 3x cubed plus 7 divided by x cubed plus 5, which is equals to quotient yang 3 tambah remainder negative 8 divided by divisornya x cubed plus 5. Ataupun, you boleh simplify. Dia akan x, dia akan dah bagi kamu 3 tolak 8 bahagi x cubed plus 5. Okay, so this is actually your your answer setelah dah buat long division. So, setelah dah buat long division, this is again, and I explain to you, this is improper, right? This is improper fraction. So, bila you dah buat long division, you akan bertemu dengan proper fraction. This proper fraction adalah atas dia lebih kecil degree dia daripada yang bawah. And so, you are very happy that you have found your proper fraction. Okay, your proper fraction means power degree atas, degree Degree di atas mesti lagi kecil, mesti lagi kecil daripada degree yang di bawah. Barulah kita berjumpa, barulah kita boleh panggil dia sebagai proper fraction. Bila kita dah berjumpa dengan proper fraction, barulah boleh kita pergi ke mencari partial fractions. So in next video, I will explain to you what is really really about partial fraction ini. Okay? Or maybe I should explain it now. Sorry about that. So now, kita nak pergi ke arah kefahaman apakah itu uh, apa tadi? partial fraction. Sorry if my handwriting. Okay, so now we already have, you know, from the improper here, we already have an answer saying that, oh, this is proper fraction. And then this proper fraction akan di selesaikan. Uh, this proper fraction is needed to find partial fraction. So partial fraction sebenarnya adalah a fraction can be expressed or decomposed as the sum of two or more separate proper fraction. This is known as partial fraction. Okay, kalau nak baca definition ni sahaja, tak cukup actually nak bagi kamu kefahaman partial fraction tersebut. Partial is like half. Partial is like a part of it, a part of it. So, partial fraction dekat sini akan um, kita belajar dalam next video lah. Lebih senang untuk saya explain later on. Yang penting kamu faham, untuk cari partial, mesti dapatkan proper dulu. Bila dah ada proper fraction, barulah boleh cari partial fraction kita. So, next next video, we will have three kind of, um, uh, three kind of, um, apa? Three kinds of, um, Partial fractions yang boleh ditulis. Okay. Satu, dua dan tiga. Saya akan explain satu demi satu in our next next video. Yang penting kamu tahu there are three kinds. Dia ada tiga jenis partial fractions yang perlu kita belajar. Okay.